Hi friends, MD Vegan. Another sweet hard cabbage salad recipe. It's not so easy to make them because there's a very um, gentle and still strong flavor in the cabbage family. But they have these amazing health benefits. They are high in vitamin C. They are a perfect winter, winter vegetable, always available, super inexpensive cabbage. Well, the Germans are great for that. <laughs> they have even the cabbage name, nickname, the Krauts. Yeah, the Germans are the Krauts, some say. Not so nice, but I guess it's okay. We eat a lot of um, cabbage here. And it is super healthy. And the sweet up cabbage is the most gentle of all and the easiest to prepare. You can eat it raw. I will um, grate it and then uh, combine it with um, pomegranate seeds. I'll show you in a moment. This is a special idea of vitamin C. And that relates nicely to dressings with vitamin C, with citrus, and also other ingredients. An apple, for example, is nice for with sweet dot cabbage. But let's come to that later. First, I make the dressing. It is with sesame seeds. Yeah? And especially when I do that, I like to do a second blending. I have two oranges here. Yeah? Peeled. They go down into the blender. And uh, you know, a small amount of sesame seeds doesn't need to be that much. Blending uh, oranges also always gets a creamy texture. The pectin in the oranges makes it creamy. So it's nice to know about what kind of fruit and veggies uh, change into their texture when blended, for example. Oranges make it creamy, getting creamy. And to, with this, with this um, ginger, there is a nice fire, uh, hot flavor added to the oranges and to the ginger. And the ginger has also something hot, especially if you have raw ginger seeds, as I have here. They can turn into a little bit of bitter flavor. Yeah, you can also have new tahini, that it would be less um, strong the flavor. But the ginger is very nice to balance this um, the edge of the sesame seeds. So, and also it's perfect together with orange. Orange and ginger is a classic, like lemon and ginger is a classic. Uh, let's see what happens here in the dressing. I did that before. You can find also a video about this dressing if you want to look it up. As I, I said, because there is a sesame seeds in there, and that likes a second blending to get it creamier. But now I, I will taste. Let me wait. Mm -hmm. mm, perfectly. It's a perfect combination. I'm gonna try that. So this sits for a while, and I blend it again to get it even more creamy. Now the sesame seed they can soak a little bit, get softer. And then, so the second now, what I do is I grate my um, cabbage. And you see, I made this V cut here. Maybe you can see that. The V cut here to get the, the, the center out, the hard trunk, yeah, get it out. And then I cut half of the sweetheart cabbage, that's enough for one meal for me, into slices. Yeah, cut into slices. Yeah. Because that fits into the food processor. This is the mouth, the opening of the food processor has that size, so I need to fit it in. And for the blade, it's good to know the, which kind of um, instruments comes with the food processor. And this is here, um, has two blades. One is coarse and one is fine. And for the coarse one, the coarse one is needed for the sweetheart cabbage. The fine one, would cut the, uh, the, uh, the sweet hot cabbage too fine and then too much water comes out and gets a little bit soggy. That's not so nice. So keep it a little bit firm the texture of this very gentle um, tender leaves. Yeah? 
So that's what I want to explain about which kind of blade you should take. If you don't have a food processor, just put it on the cutting board and cut it with a cutting knife, yeah, with a chef knife. Um, can also have these fine stripes. That's also okay. Uh, the food processor takes, of course, less time. Unfortunately, finally to have one, a good quality, it doesn't dance around as I do <laughs> when it works, it is still, and that is important, otherwise um, it is not easy to work with it. Yeah. So now I put it just in here, prepare a little bit, and off we go. That's how easy it is with a food processor. That's uh -huh. what I have here. And I put it into the salad bowl right away so we can I can show you that. What I have here. This is a nice bowl. Yeah. You see this is it's a little bit of a higher volume now. This is always what happens with cabbage. It gets really big if you cut it up. That is nice. A lot of water in the cabbage, and water is very healthy. In the, in the vegetable, in the fruit, is a lot of water. That is super healthy. It, it hydrates the body, <clears throat> the cells. Very healthy water, so good. But now, to break it down a little bit, the cells, I box it. My mom showed me that. <laughs> she boxes the sweet type cabbage. She says other people would just um, massage it. Yeah. You can also massage it. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. Don't want to go too far. I just box a little bit from both sides um, to make it soften it a little bit. I want the crunchiness, but I still want a little bit the cells for the cells to break up, because then it is um, nicer to digest. And also, um, there is a lot of chemical processes while the cabbage is in the air, it's cut, the cells are cut open. And this process, this chemical process, happens with all kinds of cabbages, with um, cruciferous vegetables. It is very healthy and it develops this anti, super anti cancer chemical that is so wanted, uh, especially from broccoli. Yeah? Broccoli is the most famous of all, the healthiest one uh, of all the cabbages, the, um, the cruciferous vegetables. Um, but um, all cabbages have these wonderful ingredients, uh, more or less. Uh, uh, sweet cabbage maybe is the lightest one. So I turn it around. I don't need the water to come out. Yeah, it's just not necessary to do it too much, but go do it as you like. You will find your favorite texture. You just do it a little bit also to show you, and it is nicer to eat. I feel I find when it's a little bit softened. Yeah. The, the, the the texture then the volume goes down a little bit. It gets less. I show you in a moment. I press it a little bit together in the boxing here. It's also a lot of fun. I always like to, to touch the vegetables with my hands yeah, because um, in the skin there are also nutrients they go into the body through the skin. Yeah. That is true. I looked it up scientifically. There was a guy on Facebook on a comment. He said it is nonsense, uh, but I looked it up and it's true. Yeah. Actually, the skin takes up nutrients. You see a little bit less now. It's half the volume almost because of boxing. And now I put the second ingredient in here, and there's a whole pomegranate, the seeds here, how to open a pomegranate, how to seed it. You can also look it up. I have another video for that. I will link all these videos with the sesame dressing, orange dressing, and the, uh, and the pomegranate opening. i link it under this video so you can look it up. So this is the salad I have here, the main ingredients, and the third part will be the dressing. I will blend it again. I'll have a look first. It firms up, that is because of the orange, it gets really jelly a little bit. So I have to blend it once one more time, and now the sesame seed has soaked a little bit, gets more creamy. Look, have a look, and yeah, 
looks so much better. Really, you gotta try that second blending. It is such an effect, such a strong effect. Yeah, it looks so different now. It's really creamy. I'll show you in a moment. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wonderful. And what do you, if you want to know, a really good juice recipe is you can juice pomegranate seeds with oranges. It's really amazing. A perfect can match the bitterness of the pomegranate seeds and the high vitamin C that matches so, matches so perfectly together with the oranges. Yeah, and all these citrus flavors, I guess they would be wonderful to guess together with the cabbage. But that I will see in a moment when I try it. You can also let this salad sit for a while because then the flavors get more uh, blended together because when the cabbage is broken open, yeah, it begins to, um, to combine and uh, to mix more with the dressing and the other ingredients. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If so, give me a thumbs up, like my video, subscribe to Vegan on YouTube if you would like to have another video, another recipe every single day. And you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.